This is just an ordinary day at the 224 Sussex Avenue shelter in Newark, New Jersey. Dozens of homeless men and women lined up outside against the chain link fence on a recent afternoon, waiting for the opportunity to be let back inside to their rooms for the evening. But panic is starting to set in among Newark's homeless population because in a month, this shelter is set to close its doors for good. If this place closes down, where do you go? Me personally, I have no idea where I'm going to go. I'm just going to be homeless living down in Penn Station. Ashley, who asked for her face to be concealed out of fear the shelter would kick her out for speaking up, says Penn Station may have been an option years or even several months ago, but not anymore. Malik Williams says police have recently been shooing away homeless men and women out of Penn Station. No, they don't want you inside that building at all. It's like 12, 30, like four knocks. With nowhere to go, perhaps now you can understand why Newark's homeless population is desperately calling for city officials to find additional funding to keep the doors open at the Sussex Avenue shelter, which has approximately 400 beds. I had a stroke, you know, I can't be on the street at all. I can't be out here because doctor, I'm a doctor scared. What's happening here in Newark is eerily reminiscent of what we reported in No Place to Call Home. We levied some fines. Our two-year investigation into the de Blasio administration's handling of New York City's ongoing homeless crisis. In short, by closing a major shelter and taking away recognized safe spaces like Penn Station, community advocates are beginning to question whether Newark Mayor Roz Baraka is pulling resources and quietly sending the message that the homeless are no longer welcome in Newark in order to make the city more attractive to economic development. We just lost 31 Fulton Street, which is about the size of this facility. The renovation has been halted because they have the new two shack towers going up and the renovation of the Verizon building, and they've now decided they don't want homeless people downtown anymore. Mayor Baraka declined our request for an interview, but his spokesperson sent PIX11 a letter he sent to homeless advocates in which he details his administration's creation of a winter shelter here at 224 Sussex Avenue for the first time ever. Quote, the city is committed to the principle of helping those in need throughout the year through collaborating with local organizations to obtain funding for and to create additional supportive housing as well as a year-round emergency shelter. Newark City officials say it will cost up to $200,000 a month to keep open the Sussex Avenue shelter beyond June 30th, but they have pledged to continue looking for funding. Still, if that shelter shuts down and the homeless are not allowed to get any shut-eye here at Penn Station, the last resort could be sleeping on the same streets that are not home to Newark's economic renaissance. In Newark, Jay Dow, PIX11 News.